Hi, I'm going to tell you about the 27 practical and amazing uses for hydrogen peroxide. Now you've probably heard of hydrogen peroxide as it has great antibacterial properties and would make a useful kit in any kitchen. But the truth is hydrogen peroxide has many other uses. Now the formula for hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, meaning it's made up of water and oxygen. It usually comes in a dark container as it degrades rapidly when exposed to sunlight. In fact, the product is sold in almost every pharmacy as 3% hydrogen peroxide and 97% water because in its purest form it can be dangerous if not used properly. Now as you can see, the grades of hydrogen peroxide are many and the ones you want to really take note of is the 35% food grade. This is because if you are considering using it on food it needs to be diluted as it's a very strong oxidizer and if you digest it it can be extremely dangerous or even fatal. However that's the talk over with on the basics of hydrogen peroxide and let's go through the 27 amazing facts you can use it for. Numero uno it makes a rejuvenating detoxifying bath. Just add a small amount of hydrogen peroxide to a bath and just keep adding hot water to maintain a comfortable temperature and relax. It can also whiten clothes and be a great alternative to bleach. All you need to do is just add a cup of peroxide to white clothes in your laundry to whiten them. Peroxide is great to get rid of blood stains and clothes and carpets. If there is blood on clothing just pour directly on the spot of the blood and let it sit for about a minute and then rub and rinse with cold water and you may have to repeat just to get rid of it if it's pretty stubborn. Number three, it's great for getting rid of foot fungus. So to cure it simply spray about a 50-50 mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water on the fungus especially between the toes as this is where it's likely to occur every night and just let it dry and keep doing this for about a month and it should get rid of it. Number four, douche. Douche is a device if you didn't know used to introduce a stream of water into the body for medical or hygienic reasons and if you add hydrogen peroxide about three percent um, to warm distilled water once to twice a week it can remove any chronic yeast infections within the body. Number five, infection. Hydrogen peroxide is really good at tackling infections. So what you need to do is to soak any infections or cuts in 3% of hydrogen peroxide for about five to 10 minutes several times a day. And even gangrene that would not heal can be tackled by soaking in hydrogen peroxide. Um, as stated before, um, it's also really good for fungus, also skin infections and boils on the skin. Number six, bird mites. Now hydrogen peroxide is really good at killing mites. All you need to do is spray it all over your skin, keep doing it until the mites have gone and you'll be critter free in no time. Number seven, clonic or anema. Now, a clonic irrigation or an anema, both pretty similar procedures. However, an anema is something you can do at home. It's a DIY procedure where a clonic irrigation is performed by a professional therapist. Either way, you can use hydrogen peroxide. However, be careful what strength is used because it's harmful for the body internally if you use too strong a solution. Number eight, sinus infections. Hydrogen peroxide can be added to a nasal spray that can help sinus infections, but you do have to be careful of the strength used. Number nine, did you know that hydrogen peroxide is used within the body to fight infection and must be present for our immune system to function properly? Our own cells actually produce hydrogen peroxide as a first line of defense against bacteria, toxins, parasites, viruses and other things. Number 10, did you know that hydrogen peroxide is really good for wound care? It can be used for cleaning wounds, removing dead tissue, and it can be taken orally to stop infection. 
It's also really good at stopping blood loss from small lacerations. Number 11, mold. If you've got any nasty mold in your house, then this is going to kill it. Just spray it and wipe it off with hydrogen peroxide and it will never come back. Many people don't realize that hydrogen peroxide makes a really great mouthwash and it's also very effective and inexpensive. Just be careful of what strength you use. Number 13. Hydrogen peroxide can actually be used for toothache as well. Hydrogen peroxide is not a painkiller, however it's an antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal agent. So it's really effective in treating the pathogen that causes infection. Number 14. Hydrogen peroxide can also be used for tooth whitening. But you really have to be careful of what strength you use, so don't go ahead and try this yourself. But a little tip for you, a little home remedy, is also to use the inside of a banana peel. That's a quick and effective and safe remedy for cleaning your teeth. Number 15. It's also really good for hair lightening. Peroxide is a bleaching agent and is used for lightening hair. So if you were to dilute 3% of hydrogen peroxide with water, say about 50-50, and spray the solution on your wet hair after a shower, and then comb it through, you will have more natural highlights, especially if you've got a light brownish coloured hair. The change is not so drastic as the packages you buy in the chemist, which are more harmful to the hair and give a more dramatic effect. Number 16. Hydrogen peroxide is also really good for contact lenses because it helps clean them because basically it's a disinfectant. So why not use it to clean your contact lenses? Number 17. Hydrogen peroxide can also be used to clean a dishwasher internally. So if you were to use a say a 3% grade of hydrogen peroxide and mix it with a 50-50% mixture of water and put this in a spray bottle, all you'd need to do is just spray the uh, dishwasher internally and it would help to kill all the bacteria inside. You can also use this spray on cutting boards. If you were to add a bit of vinegar it will kill salmonella and other bacteria. Now this is backed up with research done at Virginia Polytechnic Institute State University where they paired vinegar and hydrogen peroxide together used to spray on cutting boards and they found it virtually killed all salmonella and E. coli bacteria and heavily contaminated food surfaces. Number 18. Hydrogen peroxide is great as discussed before for sanitizing, cleaning and disinfecting of worktops. So to clean your counters and tabletops with hydrogen peroxide just simply put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on a dish rag and wipe or spray the counters. Also, hydrogen peroxide can be used to clean glass and mirrors with no smearing. Number 19. Hydrogen peroxide is also great for removing stains from clothing, but it needs to be done fairly quickly for it to be effective. Also, it's worth noting that if you do put too strong a mixture on your clothes, it can discolour or bleach the clothes. Number 20. Hydrogen peroxide can be used as a vegetable wash or soak to kill bacteria and neutralize chemicals. However, as discussed right at the start, please use a food grade hydrogen peroxide because you don't want it too strong or else it can harm the body. Number 21. Hydrogen peroxide can also make a great toothpaste. It should be added with baking soda and then it will do the trick. Number 22. Hydrogen peroxide makes a great meat sanitizer as well. Just simply spray it over your meat before cooking and that will do the job of killing any bacteria. Number 23. Have you got leftover toss salad you want to keep until tomorrow? No problem. Just spray over with a food grade hydrogen peroxide, then drain, cover and refrigerate and you can eat it tomorrow. Number 24. Hydrogen peroxide makes a great marinade 
All you need to do is to place meat, fish or poultry in a casserole dish, cover with a diluted solution of equal parts of water and 3% hydrogen peroxide, place loosely covered in a refrigerator for half an hour, then rinse and cook. Number 25. Now this is one you probably haven't heard of before, but hydrogen peroxide actually makes a great remedy for acne. Now, for it to work well, you need to um, have a not too strong a solution and apply it directly to the spots and pimples and acne on your face. Um, if you were to apply it all over your face, then it can irritate the skin, so you've got to be careful. But it is a good cure for acne. Number 26. Also, hydrogen peroxide is great for getting seeds to spray. You'll need to soak the hydrogen peroxide uh, with a solution of water, um, but it works very well in initiating the growth of seeds. Number 27. Hydrogen peroxide is also great for cleaning out the ears. So, several doctor's offices will use a mixture of warm water and hydrogen peroxide to flush out the ear wax and to clear the ears. Number 28. And this is a bonus one for hydrogen peroxide and it can be used on melasma which is a common skin condition in adults which leads to like brown greyish pigmentation developing mainly on the face and although it's unharmful it can sometimes not look that great so if you were to apply a solution specially designed for the face of hydrogen peroxide and put it on something like like a cotton wool bud uh, and place it directly on where the pigmentation is it can help reduce the colour to a more natural colour uh, of the skin. Right, if you want more information on hydrogen peroxide, or you want to know my top 10 uses for it, or even if you just want to know the best places to purchase it in all its different grades, then if you click below and it will take you to an article I've just written that will give you much more information on hydrogen peroxide. So that's all I've got to say. If you want any more information generally on health tips, then go over to my website called Positive Panic Attacks. And I'd like to say thanks for watching and have a great day.